Hello, the Hydrostar machine that you have bought is for the treatment of hyperhidrosis of the hands and the feet. It should not be used if you are either pregnant, have a cardiac pacemaker or similar device fitted, or you have any metal orthopaedic implants. Iontophoresis with tap water alone is successful in about 85% of hyperhidrosis sufferers. Those who do not respond to tap water alone can add an anticholinergic drug such as glycopyromium bromide to the water. This is available only on prescription. For further information on other treatments for hyperhidrosis, including glycopyromium bromide, please contact the Hyperhidrosis Support Group. The recommended treatment protocol for iontophoresis should be adhered to as results will be more successful if they are. Treatment should be done on days 1, 2, 4, 7, 10, 15 and 22. Once this treatment protocol has been followed and sweating has ceased, treatment can then be undertaken once a week or whenever it is necessary. It is important to note that you should recommence treatment before your sweating becomes a problem again. Open the packaging and place four AA batteries into the battery compartment, ensuring these are fitted correctly. Good quality batteries are a must. You may use rechargeable batteries, but do ensure they are fully charged before placing in the machine. Place the Hydrostar machine on the table with the baths in front of the machine. Insert the metal electrodes with the corner tip in the top left-hand corner of the baths. Place the acrylic mesh on top of this. Connect the leads to the machine, ensuring that the red leads go into the red socket and the black lead goes into the black socket. The red lead is attached to the grill on the left bath and the black to the right bath. Place approximately 400 mils of water into each bath or just enough to ensure you cover the area of sweating. Sit down, make yourself nice and comfortable in front of the baths, ensure that the chair is at the correct height and remove all jewellery before treatment commences. The current from iontophoresis machines never travels above the neck, so earrings, fillings and braces for teeth are not a contraindication. It is important to cover small cuts with a layer of petroleum jelly, such as Vaseline, first. The hands or feet should remain in the baths of water at all times and should not be removed whilst the power is on. If you do remove your hands or feet from the baths during treatment, it is important that you do not then put them back in again while the machine is turned on, as you will experience an unpleasant shock or tingling sensation. This is not dangerous. The power should never be increased beyond 20 milliamps, though most people are not able to tolerate this level of power. Some can only tolerate very low levels initially, but generally can increase their tolerance levels at each treatment. When the machine is set up and the water is in the baths, you should place your hands in the baths and ask another person to turn on the machine slowly, gradually increasing the current until you feel a slight tingling sensation in one or both hands. It is important to remain at a level where you experience this tingling or pins and needles type sensation, but not so that it becomes uncomfortable. The machine may need a minor adjustment to the power during treatment. Stay at this level for 10 minutes and then ask your operator to slowly turn down the current on the machine until the machine is off. Switch the polarity switch from one to two and ask your operator to then Slowly increase the power again to a comfortable level for a further 10 minutes before bringing the power down again. The procedure is the same for treatment of the feet with the treatment bars placed on the floor. However, if you are treating the feet, the treatment is for 15 minutes on each polarity. If you're not able to have help, you can place one hand and one foot in each bath then you have a hand free to turn on the power. If treating both hands and feet, we suggest that you treat one side of the body first, placing one hand and one foot in each bath before carrying out the treatment for 20 minutes. After the 20 minute session, 
Place the other hand and foot in the respective baths and follow the treatment protocol as before. When treatment is complete, turn off the machine and thoroughly dry all parts and pack away until the next treatment session. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact STD Pharmaceuticals. <laughs>